All right, many thanks to our channel members, uh, those who have enrolled in the channel membership. You are appreciated. You are loved. You are celebrated. Um, for those of you who support the channel through Super Thanks, um, we got Super Thanks from Mega Root Boy and um, from Nubia Rising. Thank you so much for the Super Thanks, for your words of encouragement, for your comments, always, for always liking our videos, for sharing our videos, for coming to watch even we appreciate you. I appreciate you for all of that. All right. To all of you, your majesties, thank you so, so much. Today, I want us to dwell more on what is happening in the continent right now because um, um, a lot is going on. I have all the videos, lots of videos already filmed and prepared for you. But I think it's just so normal that we know what is going on in the continent as it is. All right. The previous video, we talked about what is happening, the coup that is happening in the continent. And today we're going to extend deeper into um, the reasons why there is a coup. And um, of course, we touched some of that in the previous video, but we are going deeper into it now. Personally, I don't see these people as just people who are looking for trouble or just the ordinary military coup. I see these people, these, these guys, as freedom fighters. All right? They are tired of the whole thing. They are tired of the system and everything. And they are rising up to say, we are, we are not allowing you to be used by the West to destroy our motherland. This is just the agitation for the writing to happen we want the writing to happen we want our resources to be used as it is and like someone will say i'm happy that this is happening in my lifetime i'm going to repeat that here i'm happy that i am seeing a united africa in the making and this is what the world fears and that is why right now the world is vibrating and again there is no france without al -Kabula. There is no Europe without a cable line. You understand what I mean, your majesties. Because if you see the havoc that is being done to us for other, other parts of the world to be developed, you ask yourself, where is the love? Where is the human rights we keep talking about? All right. Now, um, the youngest of them, uh, these are the leaders that the continent needs. Young, vibrant, and ready to serve. Leaders that... I hope you understand what I mean, because when you look at them, you look at the, uh, the age gap they have with the normal African leaders that we would have. Just even imagine, just imagine right now the president of Nigeria. That man is old and he should be resting. He should be resting peacefully with his grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But he is struggling for a position. And even making a statement that this is my turn, that's even past. A, a, a great message even to people. So leadership now is not by what people want, it's by turn, turn by turn. You've done yours, it's time for me to do mine. All right. Um, he said something. The youngest of them all is the president of Burkina Faso by the name uh, Ibrahim Traore. <laughs> he's, he's 34 years. And um, a lot of his people believe that he is Thomas Sankara reincarnated. President. Vladimir Putin, Comrade President, Chef d'État. Your Excellency, Mr. President, Comrade Vladimir Putin. Bonjour. Your Excellency, Chairman of the African Union, Heads of the Delegations, thank you. Hello. It gives me great honor to address you here this morning and to convey to you the fraternal greeting of my people. At the outset, I would like to thank the Almighty who allowed us to gather here today and to talk about the prosperity and the future of our peoples. Africanity oblige the droit de nest, je me dois de m'excuser. Comrade, j'ai quelques questions donc de ma génération, ni les une question qu'on se pose. Mais nous n'avons pas de réponse. My generation Et je trouve ici, nous pouvons laver dans notre main sale parce qu'on se sent en famille. But does not get on se sent en famille en ce sens que la Russie est une famille aussi pour l'Afrique. C'est une famille parce que nous avons la même histoire. 
Russia is also a family to Africa because we share history. Russia has sacrificed a lot to liberate Europe and the world from fascism. During World War II, we have shared history. We can say that we are forgotten peoples of the world, be it movies, books, and the role that Russia plays in many ways. The role of Russia and Africa in the fight against Nazism has been forgotten, but today we stand together, and today we are here to talk about the future of our countries. It's not quite clear to me how come that Africa that has so many resources, water, solar energy, how come that currently it is the poorest continent in the world? with the Voici highest the levels of famine, how come that we have to ask for help? We ask ourselves, but we don't get any answers. On behalf of my generation, I would like to say that due to poverty, many had to cross oceans in quest for a better life. At times, they die. Pour ce qui concerne le Burkina Faso, times they starve, it's hard for them to survive. As for Burkina Faso, it's been eight years since we have been facing the most barbaric and violent form of uh, colonialism, barbarism. We are imposed this modern form of slavery. We were taught one thing. A slave that cannot rebel does not deserve pity. The leaders of African states should not be puppets when imperialists treat them like that. I would like to convey a message to heads of African states. We have to take the alimentary support of our people. Nous devons prendre l'expérience de ceux qui ont pu déjà atteindre cela en Afrique, tisser de bonnes relations ici, tisser de meilleures relations avec la Fédération de Russie pour pouvoir assouvir les besoins de nos populations. Je ne serai pas peut-être long de temps et un parti est très court. Nous sommes obligés de nous arrêter à un moment donné. Mais je voudrais terminer en disant que nous devons donc rendre hommage à nos peuples, Since à nos peuples not qui se battent. Pour ma intervention, let me pay peuples. tribute to Dignité our peoples that Victoire fight la patrie ou la against mort, all the evil. Glory to Merci our people, camarade. respect to our people, and victory to our people. Thank you, comrades. Here is an excerpt from Tror's speech. For too long, Africa has been exploited by the West. Our resources have been taken from us, and our people have been kept poor. We are tired of being treated as second-class citizens. We are tired of being told what to do by the West. We are tired of being puppets to the Western world. We are an independent continent, and we deserve to be treated with respect. We will not allow the West to continue to exploit us. We will not allow the West to keep us poor. We will unite and we will resist Western domination. We call on all African leaders to join us in this fight. We call on all African people to stand up for their rights. We call on the world to support our struggle for independence. We will not give up until Africa is free. Now, the cool leaders of those times were those that were backed by Europe and America, all for selfish interest. When they see that this leader is trying to do something phenomenal for the country, all right, doing something good for the continent, all right, they try their best to raise um, an opposition and they take over. This is what they do. But the difference is that this military coup right now is not backed by any Europe, America, or France, or whatever. Is backed by the locals, the citizens of the continent. And that is the difference. And that is why this will not be like those ones. Now, the uh, Europe and America, France and everywhere, they know these things. They know this thing that it's, it's time up. That the, the citizens are tired. And that's why they are doing what? 
they are training they want to turn us against each other they want to turn the, con the countries against each other in the continent so that the continent will be on fire so at the process of the continent being on fire they will take advantage of that hence you see this pushing of echoes where jagaban or tinubu go do your work hmm? that's why it's happening and what we'll betide us if we fall into this trap because it's going to affect us seriously there are other ways to make settlement why was there a military coup in the first place the reason why there was a military coup should be solved then the the, 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 the military leaders will step down if there is peace everyone everything is moving fine there will be no military coup all right your majesties to do what we want to appoint the president we need outsiders must not impose people upon us to manage us that's the end of it as citizens of niger were against the french military bases the american bases the canadian and the italian bases all those foreign bases that are in niger we don't need them our armed forces must not give in to any blackmail. Niger is resilient. We are resilient. What we produce, our GDP, is more than enough for us to survive. We call on the armed forces, the security forces, to resist those attempts to blackmail us. I see uh, the chains breaking off. The chains both on our legs and our hands and in our brains. Those chains are breaking off. And that is why it's like there is fire on the mountain. All right? Um, leave your comment or thought there at the section and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself. Love others. Stay safe, stay positive. Always, your majesties. Always. Bye for now.